In this video, we are going to continue with the general term of an AP. You will find this on page 45 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. We are going to focus on finding n in an arithmetic progression. It's almost like we take the general formula and we make a new subject of the formula. So we are manipulating the formula. But let's look at an example. Find the number of terms for the arithmetic progression this. So they give you the first three, they tell you it's an AP, but they give you TN. But you don't know what is that position. You want to find N. So, start. And just, this is A. I know D is 13 minus 6, so it's 7. And I know TN is this. Now, write your formula and start substituting everything. And then, you basically... Just start by saying, okay, there's the 77, I divide by 7, 7, and that n is 11. There are 11 terms. Very important, very important. That n can just be a number from 1 upwards. It cannot be a fraction, and it cannot be a negative number. Okay, because it's a position. Tn can be a fraction or a, a negative number. Now, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number B and D. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number B. So it's negative 4, 1, 6, 56. This is T1, T2, T3. And remember, this is Tn. So if I start, I say the value of A is negative 4. Okay. Uh, the value of D, it's, remember, T2 minus T1. So it's 1 minus negative 4. So it's 1 plus 4. So it's 5. And Tn will be 56. And now you start and say Tn equals A plus bracket Okay, I prefer writing first the D, but you can write it at the back. Okay, in the place of TN, I put 56. In the place of A, I put negative 4. And in the place of D, I put 5. And I'm looking for E. Okay, now it's just a linear equation now. So I'm just simplifying it. Oh, here's my pink. Okay, and now 56 plus 4 plus 5 equals 5n. So this is going to be, so 56 plus it's 60, 65. I divide by 5 both sides. So therefore, the value of n will be 13. And you can end off by saying there are... 13 terms. And I'm going to repeat it again. Remember, N is a position, like a position in the race. So it starts with the first position, the second, the third. So N cannot be a half, a fraction, or a negative number. Okay. Let's do number D. Okay, so if I look at number D, this is going to be negative 5A, negative 8A, negative 11A, 1, 2, 3, negative 32A. So, this is term 1, term 2, term 3, and this is TN. Okay, and don't forget, and I'm making it A, is negative 5a. Oh, a lot of a's now. d is t2 minus t1, so it's negative 8a minus, put the bracket, so it's negative 8a plus 5a, and that's negative 3a. And then tn, it's negative 32a. 
So if I'm starting, I say Tn equals A plus D bracket M minus 1. So Tn is negative 32A. Oh, which is good. That's correct. And in the place of A, I put negative 5A. In the place of D, negative 3A. And then it's M minus 1. Okay. So it's negative 32A, negative 5A, <coughs> minus 3A in plus 3A. So it's negative 32A plus 5A minus 3A. And that is equal to negative 3AN. So if I'm going to look at this one, this, this is going to be positive 2, so it's minus 30A. And that's negative 3AN. Can I just move this a little bit? So, and then I'm just going to divide now. So I'm going, okay, I think I can divide by... Uh, negative 3a. I must move a little bit up. So this is going to be 10, 10 because the a's cancel, the a's cancel, 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 and it's 10. So therefore, m is 10, so there are. 10 terms. So, so don't let the alphabet letters confuse you. Just remember algebra and follow the rules of algebra.